welcome to the micro engineering course now today we will see the antenna here concept of a antenna now your wave is propagating in a space by an antenna so what is the nature of the wave generally we will say that a wave equation and from this wave equation we say that wave is propagating in a space it has the electric field component and a magnetic field component and then power radiated by an antenna we just use a pointing vector term that is p we can say that e cross h okay so this one we just explain here and we relate everything all these antenna component with respect to that electric field and a magnetic field component now how this electric field component and magnetic field component come from how it comes and how this field intensity varies electric field intensity and magnetic field intensity varies and generally we say that a electric field component suppose i am saying that it has the x so similarly i say that it is supposed to be y component So in that case, your wave is propagating in its right direction, and we have mentioned earlier that is electric field component and magnetic field valve component varies with a radius. What is the variation? Okay, so that we will see here. So to understand that the component of electric field and a magnetic field vector, and you just remember this pointing vector. From this, suppose it has x and y. So your wave is propagating in a z direction because we say that a x cross here, and we say that a y cross here. That will be the vector. So we will get that in a z direction. Okay, that is about your wave. How your wave is generated? What is the frequency relationship with this field component? And how your antenna radiates space? That is, it has the e component and the h component. So always we need to be learn what will be the signal radiated by that antenna, how it radiates the signal in space. So for that purpose, we need to take a simple concept of a wave first, and then we can proceed to the antenna. So given wave, it is nothing but what it is a sinusoidal variation. Wave it has a Sinusoidal variation that is infinite here, and if we consider a simple a wave component, this is about a okay one period here we supposed to be consider, and for this given particular period wave, we supposed to be calculate that what will be the wave length of this particular wave, okay for a given particular period, twice by okay so that we supposed to be consider. Now. Where we just relate with respect to the wavelength, or we can express in terms of a frequency also. So if we say that a frequency is larger, so then this will be a small wave. If frequency is smaller, then okay, wave will be a broader one. So according to that, this particular wavelength or a wave. we can say that frequency is increase or frequency is decrease now and if you see that your signal okay your signal component alternately changes initially it is a positive then negative then positive then negative so our, after every interaction okay after every duration so it will changes that is positive and negative now. so for the short duration i'm supposed to be consider that So initially it is positive then negative okay now if you consider only a small wire of this length so in that case this will be positive this will be negative so alternately it is changes so initially supposed to be this one is a positive then in next case it will be a negative then it will be positive okay if we consider that a small length of a wire this one generally we consider that a dipole dipole it has a two pole okay so generally we say that a dipole antenna is about a dipole antenna 
and we are exciting the dipole antenna through the wire. This one is about your coaxial cable. From this coaxial cable, we are exciting the dipole. So this one end we say it is a positive. This one end is a negative. Suppose we consider that a this fact means one pole is a positive, another pole is a negative. Now alternately, that poles are changed. Miss alter because you are you are exciting the dipole using a sinusoidal signal. So this pole alternately changes their polarity. Initially it is a positive, then negative, then it will be negative, then it will be positive. Okay. So for next instant, what will happen? This will become negative and this becomes a positive. This one. Now again in another instant, this will be positive, negative, negative, positive. So likewise this changes alternately. Because we provide a signal that is a, a sinusoidal thing. Now consider the dipole here. We supposed to be consider that we are alternately changes a polarity with that side because of the sinusoidal variation frequency signal we supposed to providing. So according to the that wire, this is nothing but a dipole. We supposed to be consider a single pole here only single wire now. Now alternately it changes their polarity. So one end will be reference end will be a positive, another end will be a negative. Alternately it changes. Now how? Suppose this end is a positive, this end is a negative. The next iteration what happened? Okay, because it is changes alternately. Everything is it is changes alternately. So sometimes it is positive, some okay, then negative, positive, negative likewise. So alternately, it is changes positive and negative now. One end, one time, first time supposed to be it is this end is a positive, then another end will be negative. Then next, okay, next cycle, this will be a negative and this will be a positive. So alternately, it is changes a positive and a negative because we we are applying a alternating signal. So ultimately, it is changing with a positive and a negative. Now. For a time being, we supposed to be consider that for this given wire, this end is a negative, means it has a maximum number of electrons. Okay, means we say that negative end means it has a maximum number of electrons, polarity. So now electrons are moving alternately towards this direction toward that direction. Okay, alternately it is changing. So in the next iteration, I suppose to be consider that electrons are flowing toward this direction. In that case, in the next iteration, you will see that more number of electrons are here. Because electrons are flowing from this to this. Okay, from this end. Okay, this end to okay, this end. Okay. So we have the one end here from one end to the another end. So from this end, it is moving to this end. Okay, like so, it is end moving. So electrons are moving from this end. So then they will gather here. So likewise, so they all the electrons will gather in this direction. How this process occurs? Because electrons are moving from this end to this particular point. So in that case, at one one time, so this particular wire has a all electrons, and there all these electrons are flowing towards this direction. And then in another case, they will reach here, so more number of electrons will be reached here. So likewise, then in another case, what happened? Again, electrons will flow because alternately we are saying. Now electrons will flow and then all the electrons will gather in this particular direction. Likewise, more number of electrons in this direction. Okay, so likewise, electrons are flowing. This one is about the direction of a electron. Now this one is about the direction of the electron. When the electrons are moving, what happens? current is flowing through the wire 
okay what is the current current is nothing but what rate of change of that q with respect to t okay with time dq by t okay that is about your current i so now in general circuit diagram if you see that we have a circuit diagram here okay so what happen here a current is flowing through this direction but electron flowing in the opposite direction electron flowing is about a current flow but electrons are flowing from what negative to positive and current is flowing from the positive to okay so likewise this is about a direction of the current flow and this one is about a direction of the electron flow in this circuit so similar thing here when we have the wire one end is a negative now right now we are saying this end is a negative and this end is a positive and then in the next iteration this current is flowing through this so this end will be negative and this will be a positive okay and then again current is flowing then this becomes a negative this becomes a, a positive now from this when current is flowing through this so in that case what happens sorry electrons are flowing through this means current is flowing okay so if so we can use the concept of that electrons are flowing in this direction so at when all the electrons are present in the throughout this wire all this okay all these electrons are present okay in this throughout this wire so in that case they reach the maximum current value at the center so if i draw here for this given wire so this is about your current okay it has a maximum at the center current is the maximum at the center but if i draw here the field intensity okay so electric field now for this wire so in that case what happen it has some here this is will be a negative this will be a positive so it is maximum and here it will be a negative this act likewise so you can say that at the center for the given wire so this will be positive this will be a negative so in that case it will be likewise that is about your voltage so alternately it is changes supposed to be this one so it will be changes likewise so alternately it is but a current will be what it will be maximum when the current will be maximum throughout this wire so at one particular moment what happen it introduces a magnetic field around this wire okay already you you know that by its own law a current is propagating through the filament or a wire so around that there will be a magnetic field now this magnetic field is around this wire because a current flowing in this direction okay so now i supposed to be consider this one i am saying that a current is flowing in this direction now i supposed to be remove this one okay now we can say that it has a maximum intensity and this is about your electron flow and at this maximum so your field we can say that the magnetic field will be a maximum your magnetic field be maximum since your electron flow in this direction so that's why magnetic field intensity the direction will be a like this okay your it has a magnetic field intensity direction like okay so this is about your magnetic field next current flowing in this direction then again what happen here so around that there will be a, because it is flowing in this direction there so there will be a magnetic field okay so this one is about a current now so so current will be maximum at a center similarly the magnetic field intensity is again the maximum at a center again this one is about a magnetic field intensity which is maximum at a center but at this end it is a lowest one so now what is the direction direction will be a like one 
What is the direction of this magnetic field intensity? Magnetic field intensity direction is the light. Okay. So now it is flowing this one. So we can say that your current is flowing in this direction. And through this wire current is flowing and through this wire current is flowing. Now we can say that from this figure here it is a downward direction. Now here it is a upward direction. Because flow of electrons reverses the whatever we can say that a field state. So here the flow of electrons here, flow of. Okay. So now current is propagating through the wire. So that's why your field which changes. And according to that field changes, your field will be changes. Sometimes it is downward, sometimes it will be upward. Because alternately your current is varying through this wire. Now this is for the magnetic field. Now for the electric field intensity. We suppose to be consider that suppose consider that this one is a wire now. Now this end is a negative and this end is supposed to be a positive. So in that case, your electric field vector, okay, in that case it's supposed to be if we calculate that. So electric field vectors emanates from the positive and terminates at the negative. So this is about the electric field intensity vector. Okay, so this one is about the electric field. So at the center, okay, again you can see that it is a magnetic intensity. Now, suppose I am just changing the polarity. Now. This one is about a negative, this one is a positive. So now in this case, what happened? The electric field intensity vector will be likewise, but they changes their direction. Okay, it emits from the positive and terminate at the negative. Okay, electric. So it's just like looks like a parallel plate capacitor. So in a parallel plate capacitor, so we say that plate is a positive and negative, so in that case your field is emitting from the positive and terminate at the negative. That is about a parallel plate capacitor. Now the same concept here. Now we consider here if negative to positive, now from this current is flowing this direction, electrons are flowing, so this end will be a positive, so that's why it is flowing now. So if I overlap this quantity now, this to one, this one and this. So what will happen? So when electron flowing in this direction, polarity changes. So there will be a magnetic field, there will be electric field, both the case. Now I'm supposed to be considered that this red wire okay, likewise supposed to. Okay. So now or this one. And here it is changes, it is reverse now. I am supposed to be draw like this. Okay. So alternately, your electric field vector component and a magnetic field vector components are changes alternately. And then this will radiate a signal in space likewise. We can say that it is changes your electric field intensity vector here. It is varying likewise alternately. Then your magnetic field vector likewise. Initially, it is supposed to be this direction, then next time it is that. Okay. So, alternately, it is varying. Now. now, at some particular point, when your antenna radiates a signal, when your antenna radiates a signal, supposed to be, I consider that here, a dipole antenna. This one is about a, a dipole antenna. And we have a coaxial cable. One end is connected here, another end is connected here. Okay, so this particular wire here connection is there. Now this one is positive, this one is negative. Okay, for example, I am supposed to say this one is a positive because we are providing the signal here that is a sinusoidal signal to this through this coaxial cable sinusoidal to this dipole. Now what happened? 
so what happened here so it will emanate from this positive and terminate from the negative in first cycle it is positive and negative in another cycle it will be likewise next cycle it will be likewise next cycle it will be likewise next cycle so now it is alternately changes that electric field vector and a magnetic field vector it is changes alternately similarly for the wire current flowing through it through the wire your field will be changes here likewise so now what happen here sometimes this direction sometimes that direction sometimes this direction like this. so it is alternately change so now at any point or at any moment suppose if you consider that at this particular point we say that your magnetic electric field component is downward direction and magnetic field component is this direction like this now again at this particular point your magnetic field component upward direction and electric field component in this direction but at this particular point electric field component is downward direction but magnetic field component in this direction if supposed to be we consider here magnetic field component in this direction electric field component in downward direction now we relate that p is equal to what e cross a so if i supposed to be take all these point on some particular line so what happen here for this particular point or a particular line suppose i am saying that this is about your point wire and what happen here your electric field vector will be likewise e here suppose this is about your electric field vector at some point your electric field vector will be So at some particular duration, your electric field vector will be likewise, and likewise. Okay, so now I suppose to be draw here the electric field component. Then the magnetic field component at that particular place, so it will be likewise, be likewise, it will be likewise here. so your magnetic field component always it is 90 degree perpendicular to each other means we can say that electric field vector and magnetic field vector are orthogonal to each other here so now this one at this particular point e is upward h is downward here so k h were is that direction e is downward here so like what so alternately at some particular point because your wave is radiating in a space here so alternately your points are changes your electric field component and magnetic field component are changes at a different different point so so earlier we say that p is equal to e cross h for a given particular volume so for a given particular region so what will be your electric field vector at all so likewise we say in that particular region what will be the p cross e and we say that it has a component of electric field intensity and magnetic field intensity okay in that particular region so we suppose to be consider that that particular point at this particular point there your field vector should be a different okay so like this so this one is the concept that is to be used in a antenna for this to obtain this p is equal to e cross So at a different different point, we can find out the power at that particular point, and we'll get the given particular vector. Here we have taken the example of what a dipole. Now, suppose I consider that instead of a dipole, okay. So I suppose to be say that there is the point source. Okay, there is the point source. 
so around this point source a field will be there around this particular point source there will be a field and what will be the field it has a electric field component it has a magnetic field component okay both are. okay so for the given particular point of a source so again i say that at this particular point at this particular point your electric field vectors and around this okay we just really say that wire around that there is a magnetic so black is nothing but you can suppose to be consider that is a a magnetic field and this green is nothing but a electric field of this green and this is nothing but a magnetic field now h so now at this point sometimes that the, your magnetic field this direction so likewise alternately your direction changes okay and your field is likewise so for this given particular point of a source we can find out sometimes it is upward and downward and if you take a small section so your field vectors will be looks like p is equal that at each and every point e crosses we are getting okay for the given antenna your signals are radiating in space so now this principle is used in the antenna so how your electric field vector components are generated and how this magnetic field components are generated there and that is to be used there. okay so we say that for the given electric field generally we say that it has a sorry x y and z similarly for x y and z but we are supposed to be consider that p is equal to e cross h what is the pointing vector says and for this e whether it has a x component or a y component whether for h whether it has a x component or a y component so according to that we will get that a p with respect to that electric field intensity and with respect to the magnetic field intensity and if supposed to be that elements are a multiple elements for the single dipole it works if it is a multiple element dipoles are there okay so multiple dipole elements and both the dipole elements are of the same identical dipole element the size shape everything is same so we need to excite the element alternately or variation in the phase or variation in the amplitude so according to that this multiple elements or multiple dipole elements will form an array when it will form an array so we will get the radiation either radiate the signal in this direction that's why radiation likewise we can say that this array is called an end fire array and if we are getting the radiation that is perpendicular to this your axis here we can say that that radiation we can say that perpendicular radiation here okay so we can say that it is about the broad side array this one is about the end fire array and this one is about a end fire okay like this is the end fire and this one is about a broad side. and then how we are exciting this okay according to that we will get that end fire or a broadside radiation pattern but in a practical in a theoretically we say that it has a two lobes but practically we require only a radiation maximum radiation in one direction to achieve the gain okay so if supposed to be we say that we have the antenna and sorry we supposed to be consider that we are getting the maximum radiation in a wide direction then we say that these are nothing but the side lobes of the antenna and then we can find out the what will the what will be the gain of that antenna and what will be the beam width of an antenna so beam width is nothing but what this one is a maximum point and these are supposed to be a 3db point here so line joining those 3db point and that angle we are getting that is about the 
can see that is about a 3 dB beam width. And these are nothing but a side loops. Even we will get the back loops too. If supposed to be antenna or some back loop radiation, we will get the side loops. So ideal antenna, it should have only only a one loop. Okay, it is in the maximum in one direction there. Okay, or it should not have a side loops and a back loop. But in a practical, we are using in a mobile phone it is to be a omnidirectional radiation antenna. It radiates the signal in the, all the directions. So that's all about your antenna. Thank you all. If you have any questions, you can ask. Thank you all.